with the way they're playing right now, I seriously can see them losing to the Buffalo Sabres. I I called it. I, I, I knew it would happen. I knew that it would happen. It's the same thing every night. Every night. You can't build momentum. You can't gain barely any momentum. Um, I mean, it, it is the same thing that happens every single game for all 35 games. It's been pretty much the same every night. Uh, you still have the same issues, the the same problems. Um, the, the, I, I still don't like the lines at all. Um, and, and just to kind of look at that, because I don't even have my computer open right now, because why should I? Uh the lines you, you you bench Patrick and Limblom and I, I'm okay with that I'm okay with that that that's that's okay if you if you need you know reset them guy these guys and it worked before with Limblom that it hasn't happened with Patty so that's okay I don't mind that but my thing is this you talked about last time on the the press conference with Fletcher he wanted to you know bring in a guy like Lexinski guy like Allison so why are you putting in and again I'm not you know saying they should have called these guys up but, like, in the future, I would rather them do that. But why are you putting in Bunneman, Torinsky, the the guys that I personally, I think when they've been put in the lineup, have literally been invisible every time? Um, they don't provide a spark. They don't necessarily do anything. I think they make the lines worse. And, again, AV essentially just made his lineup worse going into this game. Um, he stacked one line. He put drops Farabee to the fourth line, which made absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. Who's arguably been, you know, one of your best players all year consistently? Drops him to the fourth line. Um, you know, ghosts coming out. You put Gus in. It's like, whatever. And just to go into the game, you got you start off one nothing. Goes off of Braun. A bad bounce, lucky bounce, whatever. Get it back. Nope. It's like Braun is literally the last line of defense on the second goal. At the, at the point. And he just shoots a meatball right at Cheyenne. Like, he didn't even look like he tried to make a, a, a shot on net. It just looked like a, a loft. You see that so many times from Braun. So he lofts it, and it hits Cheyenne, goes out. Well, what happens? They're outnumbered because nobody backchecked. 2 nothing. So, it wasn't a, a horrible first period because they still had some, some life. Um... And they had some good shifts put together, but like, it, it wasn't good. They, they did nothing with it. Uh, second period, completely dominated. The first like ten minutes, you get a goal from Provorov. It's two one. Literally in the first seven minutes, the shots were ten nothing in favor of the Flyers. They had a power play that helped that out, but still, you know, you're all over them in the offensive zone. They had what one two shifts, three one, four one. A couple minutes later. 3-1, Fogarty literally stands there, scores his first NHL goal. How many times has a player scored his first NHL goal or first NHL goal in God knows how long against the Flyers? In Not even just this year, recent years, years prior, whatever. Um, last year, I think in that one game they got blown out in San Jose, they literally gave up two goals of six that night were guys that scored their first NHL goal. Um. And middle stat, 4 nothing, literally wide open. Um, again, I, the amount of times I have said they have two two guys, sometimes even three, going to the puck, leaving somebody wide open. Um, the first goal in the last game against Buffalo, Yogi Haru. Five guys on the same side of the ice, one nothing. <laughs> it's the same things. It's the same thing. I, I, I don't know what else I'm supposed to, like dissect or break down because it's the same goal goes in every game it goes in every single game so i don't know i mean this team is just terrible it's a tough time to be a flyers fan right now i don't know what it is i don't know if it's you know i think i think it's a locker room issue i think there's definitely something there um i just can't put my finger on exactly what they say right mix of players, and I t- still don't understand that, to be honest. But I just don't know how it goes like from here to here in such a short amount of time. Like, could AV have lost the room already? Like, is that a thing? Like, 
is that seriously what we're looking at here? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm uh, I'm dumbfounded. But um, on a more positive note, hit 800 subscribers today. Uh, yesterday's video on Gossip Spare going, my thoughts on Ghost going to waivers absolutely blew up. Got like, I think it has like 700 something views the last time I looked, something around that, maybe 800. I haven't looked at it in a couple hours. Um, but seriously, I, I can't thank you all enough. I mean, it is absolutely unbelievable the amount of love and support I've gotten in the last like year and a half, two years, something like that. Um, from doing this consistently since the start of the 2019-20 season in like August when I started the podcast with Amadeo for Flyered Up, um, I, I've enjoyed every minute of it. It, it. It's I love doing this stuff. I love making videos. I love making Flyers content. And I'm just happy you guys are a, a part of the ride. Um, I had 800 this morning. I think I'm at like 809 right now. Like it, it's just insane how much it's grown. I think I got like... 13 or 14 subscribers just yesterday and then woke up with 800 and now i'm at 8 809 810 something like that so um again it's it's unbelievable and i i seriously can't thank you all enough for the the love on twitter whether it's through facebook or flyers nitty uh which is again the support i get from them is just unbelievable uh instagram twitter all of it the the guys who watch in the Flyers Gents group chat on Twitter, you know who you are, and I really appreciate all of you. And from the Instagram group chats and just everybody, everyone, you, you guys are amazing. And I again, I wouldn't be in this position without any of you. So seriously, I appreciate all the love. Thanks for uh, 800, and uh, 1K is coming soon. But uh, it's it's a tough time to be a Flyers fan right now. Um, but remember, guys, podcast articles, those links are on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. And goodbye.